Hello everyone, welcome to a Project Reality 1.6 dev vlog. With 1.6, World War II is obviously the big bit of content being added, and rest assured you will see more of it very soon, but that hasn't meant development on Core PR has been put to the side. So we thought we'd make a video showcasing some of the features and fixes that might not be receiving the attention they deserve. First new feature to show is Medic Dragging. Medics now have the ability to drag teammates out of tricky spots and into the safety of cover. Having been a community suggestion since the very beginning, it'll be very satisfying to see this feature finally added. For 1.6, Rdev Allon has been working on making PR a more enjoyable experience. Input resolution has been increased for more precise aim, making long distance shooting easier. Latency compensation has been improved across the board. Those that play with a ping of 150 and above will especially feel an improvement as Vanilla Battlefield 2 was quite broken in this regard. Furthermore, weapons operated by passengers of a vehicle have had their projectile's trajectory and initial position lag compensated. Previously, what a gunner of a vehicle did and saw on their monitor wasn't necessarily what the server and everyone else saw. This was most obvious when the vehicle was on the move. The disconnect between what the gunner of a vehicle thought he shot at and what he actually shot at could be quite large. Thanks to this change and the tank shells also being networked, this should no longer be the case. The end result of all these changes is that those with higher ping may now shoot at their targets instead of ahead of them, and those in vehicles may now shoot whilst their vehicle is in motion. In terms of new content, the modern theatre of PR has not been forgotten. Thanks to Ardev Hakunin, the Russian faction will receive the biggest update come 1.6. First is the MTPLB. Armed with two light crates, this logistics version of the MTLB we hope will add some flexibility to any resupply struggles encountered by a Russian team. Next is the Arbalat DM for the Tiger. Those of you familiar with the Crow's Humvee and the Panther will already know what to expect from this. 50 cal, thermals, zoom, and a general pain in the ass for the enemy team. The Kamaz Mustang will replace the venerable Ural truck series with the 4350 and 5350 variants in transport and logistic roles respectively. These trucks will bring a much needed facelift to the Russian faction. The BMP-2M has also been added. Nothing new versus the mech BMP-2M, but keep an eye out for an upgraded BMP-3 in the pipeline. The Russian cargo ship has been replaced by the landing platform dock Vladimir Andrews with a ramp for roll-on and roll-off of amphibious vehicles and a heli deck. This new Russian main base is certainly more authentic and suitable as a starting point for any map. Off the back of this ship will fly the new transport helicopter, the Kamov K29 Helix B. This contra-rotating coaxial minigun toting four-legged beast will be the lifeline of any Russian amphibious assault come 1.6. Stay tuned because we might just give it some rocket pods. Our final new Russian toy will be the MI-8 AMTSH. Replacing the old MI-8, this work also will be a very common sight next patch. And just like the KA-29, keep an eye on this one, we might also give it rockets. Switching factions now to Great Britain. In this update comes the AH-9A Lynx, featuring wheeled landing gear, upgraded engines, and a 50 cal with a pretty silly fire rate. The Dutch will also get a CV-9035 with a 35mm cannon, thermals, and a defensive grenade suite. It's a pretty good addition. Thank you for watching. That's all for this dev vlog. Stay tuned for further information about our upcoming release.